1.6 billion people live without adequate shelter around the world. As the impacts of global warming grow more and more severe, those without stable housing are the most vulnerable. Slums are residential areas that have poor or minimal infrastructure, lack basic services, and are intensely overcrowded. Global warming poses a real and serious threat to the people who live in these areas. Since by definition, a slum lacks sanitation, potable water, and electricity, natural disasters hit these areas particularly hard. As you can see, slums impact a significant portion of the world's population. Climate change is amplifying extreme weather events, making life in an overcrowded urban area even more dangerous. The UN's Poverty and Death, Disaster and Mortality 1996-2015 report found a direct correlation between mortality levels during disasters and income and development levels. Overcrowding facilitates the spread of diseases like malaria, cholera, and yellow fever. This is already a dire public health situation, which will be exasperated to epidemic level outbreaks as temperatures rise and populations continue to grow. Slums and urban poverty are part of the larger conversation on environmental justice, which works to ensure those who live in informal settlements are included as environmental policy is drafted and implemented. Slums and other forms of informal urban communities are often a component of ongoing debates and policies at conferences such as the COP. At COP25, UN Habitat led a discussion on building the resilience of the 150 million people who live in slums worldwide. While these conversations are important, they must move beyond COP and other climate-related conferences and into the larger political sphere. We must take climate change seriously and truly value the lives of people living in slums, both in America and across the planet. Unfortunately, this is how the current American presidential administration feels about COP deliverables like the Paris Agreement. And yet, under the Paris Accord, billions of dollars that ought to be invested right here in America will be sent to the very countries that have taken our factories and our jobs away from us. So think of that. 